Hello everyone, welcome to the final session of LTEC 654 Programming Games in Simulations. So we're at session 16 and just as a reminder for your final assignment, deliverable number two and deliverable number three are both due Monday, December 12th at 1155 a.m. Now, if you're watching this video, that probably means you've logged into Canvas and you're seeing the session 16 module. I just want to highlight a couple of aspects of this module. First up, I have put a link to an optional reading for those of you who are interested in continuing your studies of game-based learning. This particular link is to the Handbook of Game-Based Learning, which was published in 2020 by MIT Press. And this book is available in the library and it introduces the latest research and theory on learning and instruction with computer games. So if this is an area that you're interested in, this is definitely a really good edited book with lots of work from different perspectives. One of the things I really like about this book is that it focuses on empirical research that's grounded in psychological and learning sciences. So definitely great further reading if you're interested in continuing on. The next thing that I want to highlight in the Session 16 module are links to two course evaluations, which I've highlighted here. The first link is the LTEC version of the course evaluation. That one I have listed as required. It's anonymous, so I won't have any way of knowing whether or not you've actually done this. But this is the course evaluation that matters to me as a member of the LTEC faculty. So I really want to encourage everyone to please, please, please take a few minutes to fill out that course evaluation, the LTEC version. The second one that's linked there, some of you have already done this. It comes automatically from the university to your inbox. That is the campus-wide course evaluation system. We don't really look at those in LTEC in the College of Education, but if you're feeling like you have a lot to say and you want to give feedback, by all means, feel free to fill out that optional campus version of the course evaluation. So just let me know if you have any questions about that. So I want to spend the rest of today just thinking about what have we accomplished this semester. So if you remember all the way back to the first session, we talked about how LTEC 654 is an intersection of learning design, game design, and computer programming. So let's talk a little bit about what we've accomplished in the area of learning design and game design. Well, we started out by focusing on definitions of a game, and we looked at this common definition by Eric Zimmerman and colleagues. We also looked at Jesper Jewell's definition of a game, which was a little bit more substantial, a little bit more complex. We also talked about the roles that games are playing in education such as games as content, games as bait, so on and so forth. We also looked at Jesper Jewell's key features of a game, focusing on things like rules, quantifiable outcomes, effort, and negotiable consequences. From there, we were introduced to both the formal and dramatic elements of games, which is Tracer Fullerton's work, and we even looked at Shell's informal, unscientific taxonomy of game mechanics, but helps us think about how different mechanics such as space, time, rules, and skill all play a part in making games fun and uncertain. In addition to the scholarly readings we've done about games, we also looked at a couple of games themselves, such as Beats Empire and Waterworks. So that's what we've done on the learning and game design side of this three-circle Venn diagram. But what about the computer programming side? What did we accomplish there? Well, we had 16 individual tutorials about Godot, the free and open source cross-platform game development engine. We had very basic programming assignments to get us comfortable with manipulating nodes and adding text and working with fonts. And we slowly built up over time to create things such as Don't Be a Square. And then ultimately, we came together in production teams to produce Game Production Project 1, our postmodern lemonade stance. 
Most of you agreed that that was a valuable learning experience. And then most recently, of course, we are focusing on game production project two. And almost all of you are working individually on projects that are of interest to you. Now, in Godot, we learned about some basic programming concepts. We learned about nodes, the basic building blocks of Godot. We learned how we can combine nodes into scenes. And we learned how to write functions, small reusable chunks of code. We also learned that some functions are built into Godot, such as the ready function or the add child function. And we learned about signals, which enables projects to become interactive. And it allows us to link interface controls, such as buttons, to the functions that we're writing in our code. And we learned about if-else statements, which allows us to control the flow of what happens when. And finally, we learned about the importance of variables and how those are used to store information and that different types of information, such as strings or integers, can be stored in variables. And we also made a distinction between global and local variables in our code. Ultimately, we covered all of those concepts because for the most part, those are the building blocks of computer science programming. In terms of concepts, those were what you need to know to program in Godot. And in terms of practices, we tried to focus on what we need to do to program in Godot. So stepping back, what have we accomplished? I argued at the beginning of the semester that by the end of this class, you will be able to understand and apply basic programming knowledge and strategy to the creation of games and simulations for learning. In addition, our second learning objective was to identify, analyze, and evaluate various mechanics and patterns present in existing games and simulations for learning. And finally, our third learning objective was to produce original games and simulations for learning. So I hope on some level, given all of your varied backgrounds, you feel like we accomplished these learning objectives and that you were growing in all three areas of this Venn diagram, computer programming, learning design, and game design. And with that, I want to say thank you to all of you. It's been an absolute pleasure getting to know you this semester. I love the energy and enthusiasm you brought to this class. I really felt as if that energy was tangible and made for a really positive learning experience across the board. So kudos to all of you. Let me know if you have any questions as you wrap up your final assignments for the class. And with that, I'll say goodbye, everyone. We're out of time. I'll see you in Canvas.